All right, we believe in generations. This is the famous line from PlayStation leading up to PS5's launch. And what they were basically, what they meant with this statement is that when PS5 launches, all their heavy hitting first party exclusives were meant to be built on the PS5. I mean, you could even look on their website of Gran Turismo 7 where it flat out said, or even God of War where it just flat out said, this will be a PS5 experience. But, you know, and at that time, leading up to the next generation of consoles release, Xbox was very transparent about, you know, we want everyone to be included for the first two years of the console's cycle, like every other console we've pretty much had for time. So that being said, you know, PlayStation, now we got what? Let's think, three games, I think? Maybe four that are a true PlayStation 5 yeah, experience. Sure. Drew, you reviewed them, reviewed one most recently, Ratchet and Clank. And with that game and Returnal, both of these games, completely are a next gen experience and what has me sort of not really worried because playstation man they haven't hit a foul <laughs> ball yet they have been doing incredible but what i'm really worried is with the news that um ragnarok god of war and the next horizon zero dawn both of those having ps4 original versions and gran turismo 7 three of their big first party titles are going to be on the previous gen now this isn't necessarily a huge you know like there's a little give and take Corey so why don't I throw this to you <laughs> you know what I hear you man because as you know someone that owns multiple consoles and multiple generations of consoles you know we might not get the first you know the newest gen right away a availability is usually the biggest issue sometimes you don't have the money for it sometimes you just flat out want to wait and see if there's any issues maybe get the second iteration of the new console right but the issues we're having here is that we want to be able to play games on all consoles and sony's come out and said you know, we're gonna make games just for the PlayStation 5. Don't worry, PlayStation 4, we will still make games that, you know, you can play that are supported for PlayStation 4. But the problem is, is those games, like you said, Horizon, God of War, those games are gonna be on PS4. So how good can they be on PS5? I have no doubt the games are gonna be great. I mean, we know what those games are all about. They're amazing games, but we're not gonna be able to harness how much of that hardware that the PS5 has, right? We're spending, you know, $500 plus here in Canada for a PlayStation, whether it's the digital or you get the disc version. And, you know, we have to justify that. And if you can't justify that purchase, why would you, why would you buy the console? Why wouldn't you just play those games on your PS4? I mean, Drew did Ratchet and Clank. That review was amazing. That game is almost the reason I just want a PS5. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you know what I mean? If I was on PS4, I'd be ticked to know I had to spend $500 just to play that game. And then I have to pay for the game too. I mean, there, there's good and bad here and they have to cater to everybody. They have to cater to the full community. There's too many people with a PS4 not to keep making games. But like you said, Nate, Xbox had a transparency and let their, you know, their customer base know we're going to be supporting all generations. You're going to be getting enhanced version of games for the next gen. You're going to be playing games that have, you know, bumped up FPS, all that kind of stuff. And PlayStation just, they, well, they like a right away, like right away, Sackboy comes out and it's a PS4 and PS5 game. Miles Morales comes out and it's a PS4 and PS5 game. It was like, it didn't take long for them to really kind of. I guess eat their own words you got Demon Souls which is a remake and an incredible one and then Returnal and now Ratchet and Clank so I mean that's three games man I mean for me if I had a PS4 Pro and then I got a PS5 I would actually be a little miffed to be completely honest because that is $600 that I am you know I could have maybe spent in a year but you do these other own games come out. the next Xbox and where's your exclusives there there aren't any there are well, there's a like a couple. <laughs> nothing. Really, at the bottom line is Xbox doesn't have an exclusive. They starve for exclusives on a regular basis. You join the family of PlayStation because they knock out every single exclusive they own. That's why mm -hmm. you jump into the next generation of console for PlayStation 5 and say, hey, you know what? I know they're going to come across platform. Sure, they're now eating their words. I think Jim Ryan shouldn't have said that at all. 
Right? It doesn't make oh, any many, sense. Many times right? he repeated no, himself. No, absolutely. And I'm not <laughs> saying him. That. I think it was an absolute mistake to say that. But because <laughs> PS4 sold 110 consoles, 110 million consoles, that's not a, you know, a whole family of people who own that generation of console that you want to lose out on. But can't leave them behind. You are still going to want if you own a PS4, oh, you're not. still going to want a PS5. And then you get the likes of, okay, you played Miles Morales on PS4. Now go play it on PS5. It's a completely different game, right? Then, yeah, take a look at my Returnal review. Take a look at my Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart review. There's a reason why these games are hitting huge numbers. I'm not the only one who gave Ratchet a 9.5. Everybody gave that game a 9.5. Yeah. That's Insomniac though, right? Insomniac is a top tier developer completely purchased now and first party studio by playstation and didn't have their resources split. expanded over they didn't two to three exactly. different you know ps4 ps4 pro and then ps5 it was like oh we didn't have crunch well no kidding you had to make it on one console but they also and did. That's it, which is really good but they also and did spider-man in- nate they also did spider-man <laughs> on ps4 and then upped it on ps5 that's yeah, one and- studio dude one studio that did basically three games. So honestly, what it comes down to is Jim Ryan just shouldn't have said what he said. That's yeah. what it comes down to. But if you still own an Xbox, you still want next gen Xbox because why? Because it runs all your games better. You have yeah. a PS4, you want a PS5 because why? Because you're gonna get PS5 exclusives and it's gonna run all your PS4s better. What it comes down to is Jim Ryan just shouldn't have said that sentence. They need yeah. to at least just the thing that's going to break this even, I think, is the fact that is the up the FPS boost, the way they're going to enhance the games for PS5 will be what makes the difference here. What will make you feel like that purchase of the PS5, I think, for certain people will feel more legitimate, right? Yep. Okay, you know what? Maybe this game is coming out on PS4 as well, but man, they did a ton of it and, you know, a ton of changes to this game and it's amazing on PS5. Just like you said, I think it's really going to come down to how how they work that for all the games they're going to be releasing over the next, you know, two years, if this is how it's going to be. Well, I think looking yeah. forward, right, if you go for PS5, if you keep an exclusive PS5, then everybody can pour their resources into the PS5 version and make it that much better, right? That's what we're losing when you split the developer base. Because now, yeah, you have to dumb down the version for the PS4 because it's just not capable of what the PS5 is, especially when you add in the DualSense controller. Dude, Returnal, when the raindrops hits the suit of the main character, you feel it in the controller. You're not going to feel that on That's the wild. PS4. Well, I guess with all this being said, guys, <laughs> <laughs> PS5 has incredible games. PS4 has incredible games. And we're going to get lots of games on both and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I just really wish, kind of leading up to this, you know, Sony kind of made Xbox look like the laughing stock, being like, oh, we're just gonna focus on next gen, and then they immediately kind of didn't do that, and then, you know, it's, it's just been a thing that's flared up on the internet as of late that I kind of just wanted to point out, because I'm like, well, come on, guys, sure. come on. But I'm really excited to find out, you know, like obviously more God of War and Horizon Zero Dawn. I cannot wait to see yeah. what they do with the PS5 versions of oh, this. Oh, you're going to be amazing. Absolutely.